Good morning, everyone. This is Sagis Paraskevo, fundamental analyst at IronFX Global, bringing you the morning comment for the 9th of October. The minutes of the September FOMC meeting show that Fed officials remained uneasy with low inflation, which has been below the 2% target for more than three years. In the summary of economic projections, all FOMC participants projected that inflation would be at or close the committee's 2% longer run objective in 2018. This means that if the Fed sticks to its dual mandate, it will not raise rates this year. Even though several policymakers since the September meeting said that the decision to hike was a close call, the minutes described a committee that wasn't very inclined to raise rates. Many participants acknowledge that recent global economic and financial developments may have increased the downside risk to economic activity. This signal that overseas factors are increasingly important in their decision of a liftoff, mirroring the press conference from Fed Chair Yellen at uh, the September meeting. Another point of concern was the strong greenback, which could delay or diminish the expected upturn in inflation. Fed members referred to the strong dollar 25 times in September meeting, compared to around 12 in July. The outcome of the minutes favored risk appetite, with US stocks ending higher on Thursday and the dollar staying vulnerable against almost all its G10 peers. Fed and expectations of a rate hike are likely to keep USD in a corrective phase, in our view. Crude oil surged above $50 per barrel after comments by OPEC Secretary General that demand will climb more this year than previously projected, amid cheaper fuel price. He also predicted a significant drop in production growth, which could add further upside support to our WTI. More on this, you can see our technical section in the daily report. As for today's highlight, from Norway, the CPI for September is coming out. Even though the inflation is close to the Norwich Bank 2.5% target, low oil prices, soft industrial production and weak manufacturing PMI pushed the bank to cut its key rate at their September meeting. The bank has also maintained the likelihood for further cuts, but the recent rally in oil prices strengthened the Norwegian krone, and a positive surprise in inflation figure today could keep, so could keep NOx supported. In the UK, trade balance for August is coming out. From Canada, we get an employment rate for September. The labour market has continued to add jobs at a moderate pace, with a positive momentum in public sector hiring of certain restructuring in the oil sector. With just more than a week ahead of the October 19 federal election, a strong jobs report could strengthen the Canadian dollar. From the US, wholesale inventories for August are due to be released, but this is not a major market mover. As for the speakers, Atlanta Fed President Dennis Lockhart, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans and Riksbank Governor Stefan Igmes speak during the day. For more information including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get the all, all the information you need to trade delivered directly to you. And also, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Sagis Paraskevov, Fundamental Analyst at Arnavis Global, wishing you solid trading.